The JAS-39 Gripen is a highly capable and cost-effective fighter aircraft with over 300 units produced and operated by multiple countries. The latest model, Gripen E-F, is significantly overhauled and can perform on par with the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. The Gripen E has a top speed of Mach 2 larger fuel tanks, improved cockpit design, and a wide range of armaments for various missions. Let's start at the beginning. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen isn't just another fighter jet. It's Sweden's bold answer to the question of whether smaller nations can design aircraft that rival the world's best. First introduced in 1996, the Gripen quickly built a reputation as a true multi-role fighter, cost-effective, agile, and reliable. Over the past 28 years, Saab has produced more than 300 units across seven different variants, each pushing the design forward. Today, this aircraft isn't just serving Sweden. It's flying the skies of more than six nations, with others lining up to add it to their fleets. And the reason is simple. The Gripen proves that efficiency and power don't always come with the heaviest price tag. The real origins of the Gripen go back to 1979, when Sweden faced a critical choice. Its trusted Saab 35 Draken and Saab 37 Viggen fighters were becoming outdated. The government wanted a new aircraft, but not just another jet. They needed something that could match the versatility they had seen in the British Harrier Hawker, while also keeping Sweden independent of foreign suppliers. The requirements were ambitious. Mach 2 speed, short field performance for operating from improvised runways, and an aircraft light enough to be easy to maintain, yet powerful enough to dominate the skies. This became the JS Project, short for Yacht, Fighter, Attack, and Spawning Reconnaissance. In other words, one jet that could do it all. Designers took a bold approach. They built a single-engine, single-seat aircraft with negative dynamic stability, meaning the plane was inherently unstable, but fly-by-wire technology would make it razor-sharp in the air. Powering it was the Volvo RM12, a Swedish-built version of GE's F404. It was lighter, simpler, and designed with fewer components, producing over 18,000 pounds of thrust with afterburners. That engine alone could push the Gripen to nearly Mach 2. The result was an aircraft unlike anything Sweden had built before efficient, agile, and designed from the ground up to balance affordability with performance. In many ways, the Gripen wasn't just a fighter. It was proof that Sweden could build world-class technology on its own terms. The next chapter in the Gripen story is nothing short of revolutionary. In November 2022, the Gripen E officially received its Military Restricted Type Certificate, proof that this aircraft was ready to stand shoulder to shoulder with the world's best. And make no mistake, this new variant was built with a clear target in mind, to compete directly with the American F-35. The Gripen E is larger, heavier, and significantly more advanced than its predecessors. At its core lies the General Electric F414G turbofan engine, delivering an impressive 22,000 pounds of thrust. This power allows the jet to reach speeds of Mach 2, and remarkably, it can sustain supersonic flight without even using its afterburner. That means less fuel burned, longer missions, and a fighter that can remain in the sky when others are forced to retreat. But raw speed isn't what makes the Gripen E so formidable. Its design features 10 hardpoints for weapons and pods, giving it enormous flexibility in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles. Even more striking is its rapid turnaround. A Gripen E can be refueled, rearmed, and sent back into combat in as little as 10 minutes for air-to-air -air missions, or 20 minutes for full combat readiness. Inside, Saab has completely reimagined the cockpit. Built around the principle of human-machine collaboration, 
the interface gives the pilot unmatched situational awareness. Hands-on throttle and stick controls, three massive multifunction displays, and an integrated helmet visor system ensure the pilot sees exactly what matters without distraction. Even artificial intelligence is woven into the system, streamlining data and providing the right information at the right moment. Add to this a 40% increase in internal fuel capacity, and the Gripen E suddenly becomes more than just an upgrade. It's a next-generation fighter designed to outlast, outthink, and outperform much larger and far more expensive rivals. Armament and sensors are where the Gripen E turns adaptability into a tactical advantage, a small airframe carrying big options. On the offensive side, Gripen's 10 hardpoints transform it into a true multi-role workhorse. For air-to-air -air dominance, it can field an array of modern missiles. Beyond visual range options like Meteor and Darby, medium range AMRAM, and short range Agile missiles such as ASRAM, Iris T, Python, and ADARTER. That mix gives mission planners flexibility, from defensive patrols to offensive counter air strikes. For strike missions, the Gripen E carries a wide palette of munitions, the windshield. precision guided so the pilot bombs, maintains PBU visibility. series, standoff weapons like the Taurus KEPD 350 the AGM-65 Maverick for tactical strikes, anti-shipping RBS-15 FER missiles, and the lethal MBDA Brimstone for high-value, low-collateral targets. A Mauser BR-27 cannon remains on board for close engagements and strafing runs, keeping the jet effective in contingencies where missiles aren't ideal. Survivability and self-defense are built in, a missile approach warning system, chaff and flare dispensers, and a modern electronic warfare suite help the Gripen detect and defeat incoming threats. That layered protection is essential for operating in contested airspace without the logistical tail of heavier platforms. The Gripen sensors and targeting systems are equally modular. The ES-05 Raven ASA radar provides high-resolution situational awareness and multi-target tracking, while an integrated IRST adds passive detection capability against stealthy or emission-silent threats. For targeting and reconnaissance, the jet can carry pods such as Raphael's Lightning, Saab's own MRPS, or Thales's DJRP, giving operators choice depending on doctrine and partnerships. Communications and networked operations are a core strength. Link 16 compatibility, long-range satellite radios, standard tactical radios, and rover downlinks enable real-time data sharing with other aircraft, AWACS, and ground controllers. That interoperability lets a grip and squadron punch well above its size by fusing sensor data from allied assets. In short, the Grip and E's weapons and systems are designed for versatility and cost-effectiveness. It may not carry the heaviest loadout of a larger fighter, but its curated selection of modern missiles, precision munitions, advanced sensors, and robust networking creates a highly capable, flexible platform, especially attractive to nations that need a nimble, affordable, and interoperable frontline fighter. At the end, the Gripen isn't just an aircraft, it's a statement that smart design, adaptability, and affordability can redefine air power in the 21st century. So what do you think? Could the Gripen E truly rival giants like the F-35, or is it destined to remain the underdog? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your perspective. And if you enjoyed this deep dive in the modern fighter jets, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Skyjet Wings, and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss our next analysis of the world's cutting-edge aircraft. The skies are vast, and together we'll keep exploring them.